Hey guys, Jeff Silversmith here. What's happening? Silver Sidekick coming up the stairs now. He's talking on the phone. <laughs> So, uh, hey guys, how you doing? We're back for tonight's stream. We're going to go over the rest of the collection I had from last week. Then we'll do um, a little auction after that of the stuff you saw last week. So what's happening, guys? Good to see you. But anyway, I'm going to start with the stream now. So. All right, see ya. <laughs> Welcome back, Lee County Scratchers. Gay Dog, what's up? Hey Stephen Hersey, Flutterby, Daniel D'Ambrosio, Handy Andy, J Dub, or just Dub, sorry. And also, Flutter, uh, I'm sorry I missed that. Improv comedy stream, I missed that. I can do that sometime. Yeah, I got your, uh, I just saw the email today about Matt 83 stuff. I wish I. Would have been able to be there, but unfortunately yesterday was very busy, and the day before was very busy. Um, <clears throat> but I'm glad he did well. I think he did well at Big T's uh, uh, bin auction, pretty much what it was, which is great. Brian Smiles, AZ Coins. Now we're getting the crowd coming in. So what we'll do first is I got just three boxes of a lot of slabs and we'll go through that and then we'll look at what I want to put up for auction I you saw a little bit earlier when I was here and just did the in the improv comic auction and pre-stream for this and there's sister Sil silversmith on again So how is everybody tonight? Hopefully it's not too hot where you're at. Well, I tell you what, on my way here, my blower motor gave out my pickup, so I don't have AC now. Oh, my. I know. I'm a little upset about it. I bet. I would be. There's Barrett Behurst, too. But yeah, you saw all the stuff I'm going to have in the auction uh, earlier if you watched the pre-stream improv video or stream and uh, comic box opening. I had a couple deliveries today from comics. Also, you'll notice that <clears throat> I was not able to get my Jeff X Silver X Smith at Gmail PayPal back, and I kind of found out why. When I did some auctions with uh, the comic books, I put my address in the notes several times, you know, because I bought from several different people. And they were putting holds on those. And it was just right after that where that Jeff X Silver X Smith at Gmail got banned forever. They said oh, that's too dangerous, but they didn't, of course, they never give you a reason. But just from the deduction of a lot of different auctions I've seen uh, recently, if you're using PayPal, don't put your address in the notes. We were all wrong. So um, I'm going to have Silver Sidekick put in my put have, have my email on the auction on the auction screen, and also have my PayPal on the auction screen. So you want to send your information to my email and just send the payment to PayPal. Don't do anything else other than that. Just to keep yourself safe and keep your PayPal um, safe as well. But, yeah, that's the only thing I have, I have seen what, that I had done differently, Flutter, was when I used it for auctions and I put my uh, mailing address in the notes they were stopped and held from from the person who I paid to of course they eventually paid them but then that caused my account to be banned because they don't want you doing that I I don't know why but 
you know, they just don't want you doing that. I'll put that over there. Well, mostly. <coughs> so when we switch to the, I'm just going to do this to show, mm -hmm. and then we switch to the auction screen because we have the other, uh, the PayPal in there, and the email. Which one's that? Uh, well, the email is just my Jeff X Silver X Smith one, but okay. the PayPal is Jeff Smith underscore Park Place at Yahoo. Jeff Smith underscore Park Place at Yahoo.com. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So that is what was my understanding, or what I gleaned from any of the kind of stuff I've been doing on on PayPal, because I don't see anything else that could possibly have happened. So what we're gonna do now is I got a lovely box here of slabs. A lot of these um, are multiples of the same year. <clears throat> I think this is the dime box. So this probably will not take very long because, uh, like I said, there's multiple slabs, but a lot of the same years and mint marks. Uh, I, I don't know why, but just so happens they did that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other apps and other things that I'm looking into getting because <coughs> I am now getting my... Uh, website under construction so I'm gonna have uh, a lot of other things available to everybody not only coins but uh, cards other collectibles comics so I'm gonna have a lot of stuff so it's gonna be a very good venture so um, Let's get this stack out first. These <coughs> I don't know if you can see the stacks, but I'll, I'll get them under there. This stuff is all the same year. All the same mint mark. 1939 D dime, but just in many different grades. There are a lot of 64s, and there's a few 65s. But we have a 64 here, a 64 here, 64. I mean, these are good to have. These are good small uh, pieces to have. Hey, CM Silver. You said it was Jeff Smith underscore Park Place? Yeah, at Yahoo. <clears throat> so that's, those are MS 64s. Got another. Just got many MS 64s of this date. There's nothing real special about this date, but they're nice, uh, affordable coins. Graded condition. Then we got a bunch of MS 65s of that same date. But this was a dime box. I was kind of surprised there was just all sorts of a lot of the same dates in uh, just different conditions. But hey, I'll take it. These will all be good for the shop. They'll be all. Uh, Fairly quick, low dollar, five, six, seven, eight dollar uh, MS purchases. Be very good for the store. <laughs> I'm just glad you're in here. You can like if you want. But I'm just happy you're here. 
So again, here's another one where you got a lot of MS-64s uh, in, the, in the 1964 D. Again, not a particularly huge date, but you know, a little cheap coin for, for $5 that is graded as an MS-64, so. Again, those might be quick sellers if someone just wants a, a graded coin. Although right here we got an, uh, I think this is, a, we got an MS-66 full torch. So that might be a, a little different than we got an MS, of course, MS-66. But all the others are MS-64s. And that was one full roll, guy, or one full full row of this was just those two dates. And actually, that was a 19. This last one was a 1950. My bad. It wasn't a 1964. 1950s. But though that one roll was just two dates of dimes. Hey, Rhonda. So we'll get out road number two here. This one, you're going to get a lot of the same. Um, this side is 41. Forty-one Merc Dimes, 1941. Dun, 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 dun. Again, in many, uh, many 1941s, different grades. And then we got, yeah, 41 and 42 we got here. All Merc Dimes, 41 and 42. Storm and CA, what's up? So we'll start off with the 41s. We got a nice big stack of 41s there. And the first 41 we have is an MS64 uh, full bands. Gotta love that. And then we have a nice pile of MS-64s in 1941, just MS-64. Nothing super odd or different, but we got one, two, three, we got six of them. <coughs> nice MS-64s, just good high quality grade Merc Dimes. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve that are all one grade higher. Nice MS sixty five. Is it kind of blurry? Yeah, a little bit. So those are the MS sixty fives. Yeah, that helps. I don't have the live cam. <laughs> <coughs> so we got one full full bands. I like that. MS sixty four. And we got about six MS sixty four just regulars and, and twelve MS sixty fives. And then in the 42s, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine. Oh, that's a 45. What am I doing? Okay. Ooh, there's that one, too. 
So we have five from 1942 that are MS-64. <coughs> and then we have an MS-64 uh, full bands. And then it looks like we have uh, 1944. 1944 MS-64. Gotta love it. Then we got a couple in 1945. And then it looks like at the very end we have one. Oh no, not at the very end. Looks like we have a 1945 from MS-65. <coughs> the last three, last three are Rosies. Looks like we got a 46 Rosie and an MS-65. We got a 49S Rosie and an MS-64. And a 55 Rosie and an MS-65. So a lot of high quality dimes. Yeah, me too, j Dog. I don't know if I'll be able to have the shop here. I hope I can, but I may have to go Uh, Silver Sidekick and I are thinking about getting something else because, of course, Silver Sidekick's doing his guitars as well, which is great. So we might we might uh, get an actual storefront so that he can have his workshop in there, and then you know we can just have everything else uh, with the cards, comics, coins, collectibles, all coordinated together. Uh, in one area. You know, but we're looking at. If it. I had many nights like uh, last weekend, we could probably have famous people coming in there. Yeah. <coughs> that would be cool, too. I mean, we could have a lot of people that would, you know, want to try out your guitars come in and play. Right. That'd be fun. We could definitely have some streams of that. Did that freeze? No, I just paused it. Paused what? Did oh, that. That, that. Yeah, it doesn't pause the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we got a we got a little more variety in this one. There are still some dimes in here. There are some quarters. There's some newer stuff, too. Hey, Joe Price. What's up? In this. Hey, Joe Price. What's happening, buddy? Hey. Um, there are also some other, like, things graded. We'll get out this first row. It's kind of kind of a mishmash of, uh, of stuff. And then, of course, ooh, yeah, I forgot these. Now, these are, we got quite a few um, silver certificates in here, as you can see. And these are crisp, 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 lovely. I mean, this is the 1939. I can't read that. 1935 D series. And these are crisp, crisp, crisp. Just like tater chips, boy. Take one of these out, and you can snap them like a chip. Quite amazing. Quite amazing. Quite amazing. <coughs> so, in this first one, we got 
Oh, we got another uh, a rosy dime. This is an, another MS64 and 1964D full torches. Then we got a 47S rosy uh, MS64. Fifty three S a rosy dime and an MS sixty five. Then we have looks like a fine fifteen nineteen thirty S Merc dime. It's a very significant year and uh, mint mark, so that's the reason why they slabbed it at all. An F fifteen you can look up goes for several pretty pennies. <coughs> Then he had a couple of Susan B. Anthony's done. Again, not huge. He had this one marked at eight dollars. This is a I can't read it because it's marked under there. But this is I think an MS sixty nine. This is nineteen eighty one S MS sixty nine Susan B. Anthony. Also had a 79S PCGS Proof 69D Cam Type 1. Those are very nice. If you are interested in that, this is this is of course is not. Far North Coins, what is happening? I do have your address now, and I'm going to send it out this week with all the stuff I do from this auction. So you'll have it probably later in the end of the week. Then, of course, again, just some regulars. Uh, this is a 1978 half dollar. Rose, or a Kennedy half as in an MS-66 uh, clad coin. I guess <laughs> we could we could look it up on the uh, PCGS app uh, and scan that and see why this is significant. When I look at the site, it doesn't look clad, but I, I'm sure it is. But yeah, just some uh, we got a 71 here. That's an MS 65. We got another. Uh, Susan B. Anthony is PCGS MS 6681 D. <clears throat> then we got a 73 D MS 66 Kennedy. Unless somebody just wanted to, to grade up all their Kennedy collection, I, I don't know. Again, I haven't researched a lot of these yet, so. Who knows? I could have a mint here on 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 my clad Kennedys. I kind of doubt it, but nineteen again another nineteen seventy one D uh, PCGS MS sixty six. Then we got a seventy three D dime MS sixty <clears> six <throat> FB. We got full bands on this one now. But there are a lot of people that do collect uh, just early, I mean, regular coins, uh, regular graded coins. So I guess I can't. Uh, discard that. <clears throat> like here we have a, I don't even know, I'm going to cheat. That's an MS-66. 1993 MS66 uh, Kennedy again. We got somebody's got ten dollars on it. We got uh, 1974 MS66. I hope that's four dollars and fifty cents and not forty five dollars. Mark Vedman. <laughs> we got a 78D MS66. Yeah. <laughs> Then we got an MS-66 uh, again in a 72D. And an MS-66 in a um, 93P. 
I mean, is that true, everybody? Does I mean, are there people that just go after graded current coins too? I mean, I don't know. Then we got a 73 Ike, that's uh, PCGS uh, MS64. And then a 73D Ike, PCGS MS64. And then this one I understand is a 1970S. So this is your proof coin, proof silver coin, 40% silver in a proof, 60, a proof 67 Cameo. This one I do understand and would buy. I mean that's something, uh, but these these I these I, I just have no clue. These regular everyday. This one I like. I'm going to keep that out. Then we had a few at the end here of. Uh, we had some MS70. This is the Tough as They Come. First day of issue 2017 uh, ASE in MS70. That looks like a Jim Thorpe type cover. Then we got a 2016 Tokelau uh, Hakuna Hakula Sailfish early release MS69. Okay, mm. what are you doing? Sorry. You're freaking me out. <laughs> it's all right. Then we have the 2018 Eagle in an MS70. NGC in the nice Christmas green. Then we got a Proof 70 in a 2018 W. Uh, Proof 70 Ultra Cameo. And then we have a Proof 69 2019 W. Also Ultra Cameo. Early release. And we have a Proof 70 Ultra Cameo 2013 Canadian uh, Lifelong Mates, got a couple bald egos in a Proof 70 Ultra Cameo. Very good coins. Then we have a 2013 Canadian Maple Leaf, just an MS69. Oh, I did not miss it, Flutter. When is the auction for Matt 83? Because I thought when I hit it, it was like last night. Gringo, what's up, brother? <clears throat> uh, not this week, Gringo. Uh, this is the second part of the collection. Uh, I'm going to pull some out for next week, but I'm also going to do... We're going to do a coin roll hunt next week because we got three boxes. So we're going to be able to do that. And then uh, I'll pull out a few slabs to sell during, uh, during the time we are doing the coin roll hunt. So we won't... Uh, But in here are pennies and quarters, but they're modern quarters. I think I'm going to move on to the last box because that's the best box. Oh, Wednesday and Thursday, all slabs. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. We got quarters and fairly modern quarters, some state quarters. We have proof decams. Uh, doesn't say they're silver, though. But some of those are nice. The uh, um, 
the state quarters. Got to love them. William Fowler. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Well, that's good to know, Flutter. This one's the one with the fun stuff on it. <clears throat> we got the Canadian in the house, William. Th hey, hi. Either that or the Minnesotan. Mm, we got a lot of those guys. Hey, you been out there, eh? Yeah, I've been out there. So what do you think of those uh, those trees out there? Eh? I'm not sure what to think about those trees. I have no clue what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <coughs> We will get one side out and show you some of the stuff in that. It's a it's a bigger variety in this uh, bunch, uh, and this bunches of slab works. And then we will. We get done with this box, we'll move on to the auction. We'll do it very slowly so we can write everything down and uh, move on. I got a couple of uh, bins by it now that so we'll do first. And then we will move on to the pieces. So these first few are some proofs, some Benji proofs in many different years. But it looks like I'm going down the line. I got a, uh, let's see, 58, yep. So this is pretty great. And who knows, I may do this as a set but uh, you, you almost have uh, the entire run of Benji's in a proof 67. You got the 62 Benji, 61, 60, <coughs> 59, 58, and 57. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six proofs there from 62 to 57, all in a proof 67. That's amazing. That is some good stuff. Then we have, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put that. So this was kind of interesting. This says the first W uncirculated scent. This is the 2019 W uh, first releases in an MS 68 red. I'll see if it'll focus, but first W uncirculated. 2019 W. NC FX STI. What's up? And Zurich Farms is here. My goodness, Gringo. I saw you, Rebel Stacker. So this one is, I don't know, 
2019 W first releases of an MS 68 red first W uncirculated set. Very nice penny. And we got a couple of nickels that have full steps and graded very high. We got, an, uh, we got a 1944D and a 1945D. Five full steps. Both in an MS-66. Beautiful. Mustang Dave. Then we have a 2009S nickel in a proof 69D cam. Awesome nickel. Let's see if I have any other nickels before we get to the higher. I do. Got another penny too. Got that. Got that. Quora. Penny quarter, nickel, nickel, nickel. <coughs> so let's do the pennies here. We got a 1954S. 1954S uh, MS66 red. And we got a 1939 uh, PCGS MS67 red. A couple nice pennies for penny collectors. I might pull those out for them. This one has a nice variety to it. And this is an Annex one. This is a 1957D MS64 five steps. Oh my goodness, Zurich Farms, $2 super chat. Lots of great people up in here, up in here. Yes, there is, including you. Look at that. Even work with the duck and everything. Yeah, the, we had a <coughs> subscriber earlier. We did? Yep. Well, you got to announce that, dude, if I miss it or hit me in the head or something. Oh. So who, who subscribed? I don't know. I don't remember their name. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you scroll up for me so we can find it? Thank you so much, well, Zarek Farms, for your $2 super chat. It won't be on the. It, it won't be, be on this? Chat. Well, we got to find out who subbed. Uh, hey guys, who, who subbed earlier? Piggy hunts everything. What's happening? Up next, we have a 1915 V-neck. Oh, no, this is a quarter. This is a barber quarter from 1915. We got a PCGS uh, VF30. Then we have a PCGS uh, from 1989, 1989S. So this is a proof 69D cam. Again, another one. Yeah, five steps, full steps. Yeah. Absolutely, Dave. It might even be more. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure five steps is full steps. <laughs> well, I just need reminded if someone uh, someone's uh, became a member. That's great. Oh, no one became a member. They just subscribed. Oh, they subbed. Well, that's yeah. great too. Okay, I thought I thought uh, that meant member. My bad. Oh uh, no. Nineteen eighty or nineteen ninety. All day. I saw a live stream earlier when I was. Yeah. Because I was at home learning some new songs. Because I'm going to... I was just uh, opening two packages. Oh, we're back now, huh? Oh, yeah, we're back now. 
Hey guys, sorry about that. Got a little disconnected. Now Chad says it disconnected, successfully connected, okay. So right here we have a silver uh, proof coin, uh, proof 70 ultra cam. It is the 2019, and this is the first day of issue, uh, War in the Pacific. That's a beauty. Then we have an MS-65, uh, 1962D quarter. That's 90% silver. Is the circle still up now, or was that just us lagging in chat? That's just us lagging. Yeah, okay. We're good. All right. Then also, I got one more quarter here, I guess. This is a PCGS MS-64. Uh, 1960 <laughs> William Ballard said he lost power at his house. <laughs> He's like, what did Psychic do? I lost power at my house. So, yeah. <laughs> Psychic just did everything back there. Just destroyed the, <laughs> destroyed the entire grid. The grid. <laughs> grid went down. Literally, we went down to like seven viewers. Now we're back to 28, yeah. I think. No, my viewers over your, here doesn't count. Your chat's behind. I'm going to bring it up on here. Mm. So, what we have next? I got a couple more Benjis. I wanted to show those. They are a uh, 56 and a 59D, both in MS64 shape, both with full bell lines. Those are beauteous. Full, the fullest of bell lines, according to PCGS. Yeah, I'm waiting too, Stephen. If you if you're still waiting, how far behind am I in chat here? You're pretty far behind. Well, can you refresh that for me, just so I don't keep answering. Uh, Questions from 15 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, I guess my iPad doesn't have LTE anymore. That's weird. I have to go down to the Verizon store. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Man, I messed up a bunch of stuff. Jeez. My goodness. This one is a commemorative silver dollar size. That's an MS-60. It is a 90% silver planchet. That's just the wrinkles in the uh, plastic. But it is an MS-60 planchet. So it has no stamp on it, no nothing. And they're still calling it MS-60. So we need to get something stamped on that to make it a higher grade. <coughs> All right, here's a 1970D PCGS MS-65. This is one I would keep too, 70D. Lovely. Then we have a proof, uh, 66, 1964 accented hair. Can you read that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Just gonna close out of that. That way we can. Y'all be nice. This is Sidekick's first dream. <laughs> You're b yeah, yeah. So take it, mean. Take it easy on Psychic. He hasn't been here before. <laughs> Thank you, NC. I think the uh, humidity is getting to everything. I mean, I've been up here most of the day, and I haven't. I mean, I sweat a little bit, but it's actually gotten better up here over the last weeks. Oh, there's another full bar. My gosh, guys, I'm just finding full bars everywhere. This one is a 54D PCS MS64 full bell lines. If we had beer here, I'd give him some. I 
And then here we just have some 90% uh, silver uh, S-proofs. And either, I think they might be all, okay. <clears throat> They're all proof 69s of varying years. But they are the S-proofs, um, the 90% proofs from recent years. Some are NIFCs, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Um, we got a 1999, 2000, 99 through 2005. They're all proof 69 ultra cameos, and they're all S9. Uh, they're all 90% silver. So there's seven of them there. Who knows? I may put that. I may put that in like a group. So you got 99 through 2005 S proof silver half dollars. Very nice. Then this we just have an MS 63 in a piece dollar. We got a PCGS MS 69 2005 ASE. Then we got a couple uh, pandas that are in MS-70 grade. We got the red label, and we got 2013 First Strike, uh, both in this 2018-2013, both in MS-70. They just dropped that Bushell, 56, oh, the Bush, yeah, the 56 packs, yeah. They have that in Iowa. Only the hardcore drinkers get that. Those are two good pandas. I got a few more here, but we're, I mean, it's coming up on 7 o'clock. I'll show the biggies. And then when 7 o'clock rolls around, we'll start with the auction. Unless you guys are having a good time seeing all the other stuff. I don't mind going through it, but I think Silver Sidekick's getting bored back there. May want to go back and play his guitar. I might want to start messing around with some stuff on the computer. Yeah. What do you want to mess around with? I don't know. Whatever I mess around with, the thing goes down. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, and it, and it goes down in Canada, too, because you destroyed William Fowler's internet or his electricity. So be careful. Yeah, I know. Got to watch which buttons I press. Don't want to be, don't want to have uh, Canadian officials come after us. Oh, well, that'd be kind of fun. Power issues. Sidekick's <laughs> bored. He's breaking things. <laughs> Are you bored, sidekick? Bored enough to start breaking stuff. To start breaking things. Okay. I remember this. This one's kind of fun. This is uh, one of your walking liberties. A little tougher date, the 1938D in an XF40 condition. That's one of the biggies I got in here. That came in one of these, one of these little thingies, too, to protect the... Uh, Sleeve even more. 1938D XF40. Then, of course, we have this one that's already spoken for, unfortunately. This is the 1917D PCGS MS64 full head FH type 1 standing liberty quarter. And you all know who this is going to. We just haven't uh, worked out the details yet, but I'm sure we will. Yeah, that's correct, Flutter. Rob does want this, and um, I knew when I was getting it that that I would show it to him, and he would uh, he would he would definitely want it. This one is kind of great, kind of weird, but kind of great. This is a 1971 S Penny. That's a DDO FS 101 proof details 
with environmental damage. Now, I know it's going to be, well, yeah, we'll try to. Try yeah, we'll try to focus in on that because you'll see carbon specs on the front. Once we try to get it focused. There we go. But as you can see, 1971S DDO, this is the FS101, proof details environmental damage, and you can see the carbon spots right all over his face. <laughs> 125 I wouldn't start it at 125 Dave <laughs> maybe 400 I'd start it at and I could say it went for 400 and then I, then maybe yeah <laughs> I would not do that to him Dave come on This one is, this one's a very cool commemorative. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, if somebody else has, let me know. But this is the, the 1938 Daniel Boone uh, commemorative uh, for MS-64. d Boone, half dollar MS-64. A squared quarter? No. The barber did work. That's, but you know, a lot of them. Uh, excuse me if there's young children here, but a, a couple of them called me an an a hole when I did that. <laughs> when we did the barber thing in the roll. Oh yeah. A couple came in and called oh, called yeah. me an a hole. People don't have a sense of humor. Uh, this one again was also, also in one of these nice ones. This is a 1957 uh, Franklin. This, however, is a proof 69. But I could only get away with that when we were actually when you when he actually hunted on the on my night and asked me if he could. That was very nice of him, by the way. He didn't have to ask me. But uh, he can. But he had to, the next day. He had to go. He couldn't. He couldn't uh, do something on Wednesday and Friday or something. Well, maybe in there, NC. Never know. Uh, this one is a lovely buffalo nickel. This one is the 1937D three-legged buffalo nickel in a VG10. But as you can see very clearly, only three legs. Boom, boom, boom. The three-legged 37D beauty. And then finally, uh, we have the 37S um, Texas commemorative and an MS-65. Now, you'll notice this one. They made the rounds, uh, the new the Texas commemorative rounds, exactly like the 37S 50-cent piece. Because you see the front with the eagle and the back. So those were the uh, 
ones in the special pouches, the special containers. I still got a little bit more, but it's seven. Maybe we'll put one of these in here. Maybe we'll take a couple of those slabs and put them in tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Chris, what's up? Everybody say hi to Chris. Chris Baxdam is going to be doing the uh, JSS 4Cs site where everything is going to be. Um, we're working on it, uh, or he's working on finding some things right now, and uh, we're going to be building that site uh, for the store. It's going to be a lot of fun. Going to take a real quick break, guys. I got to use the restroom, and then we'll come back and we'll do the bins. We'll do the buy it nows for the auction, and then we'll kind of go through everything. All right, so we'll be right back, guys.
Here we are, guys. We're back. Quick little break to go potty. And then I found these. This is where the little pieces of eight I have that I'm sewing. I just got them all out. I only showed five earlier, but I got them all out if anybody wants one. Uh, I'll read this real quick. This is from the El, the El Cazador. The El Cazador on January 11th, 1784, sailed from uh, the port of Veracruz, Mexico for New Orleans, carrying 400,000 minted silver coins called reals or pieces of eight and 50,000 smaller reals. The vessel and its crew disappeared in the sea, sinking without a trace. The Spanish needed the shipment to stabilize their weak monetary system in colonial North America. Spain lost Louisiana to Francis Napoleon, who sold the 1 million square miles to the U.S. On August 2nd, 1993, the shipwreck of the El Cazador was accidentally discovered by Captain Jerry Murphy of the fishing vessel named, get this, the fishing vessel was named Mistake. The treasure of El Cazador has arrived after 209 years of its longest voyage. 1784 to 1993. I don't know that I'd <coughs> climb aboard a ship named Mistake. Yeah, the fishing vessel at least. But this is kind of what they look like. Some like this. Uh, some have pieces out of it. Oops. But they're all roughly the same weight. I have many of them. Many, many of them. So, if anyone would like an El Cazador, these are silver, silver pieces of eight from uh, 1784. You'll get a card with each one. Those are from 1784? 1784. Are they dated? Yeah, some have the dates on them that you can see, some, uh, some not. They've been in the ocean for a long time. Yeah. How much are they? $35. They're a $35. Buy it now. So if anyone would like one, uh, give us a bin in chat. If you want one, two, three, however many you want, let me know. I'll take one. Well, take one then. Yeah. Here you go. You want me to get a date on it? I don't know. We can look at them. <coughs> so if anyone would like one. Joe Price. Joe Price. Joe Price would like one as a bin. Robert Hishmiller, how are you? So we got one. Anybody else? They're thirty-five. Uh, they're thirty-five. Yeah, they're thirty-five each. March. Seventeen eighty-four pieces of eight. It has been thirty-five time now. Rock. You can get one, two. You can get as many as you want. So we got Daryl USA, one with a date. Okay, mine's still slow. Uh, Mustang Dave wants one. So we got Daryl, Mustang Dave, Rock. I know one and one, he said that earlier. Yep. yep. <coughs> That's an old coin. Yeah, it is. That is so cool. And I can give them to you for $35. So. March, March. March. One with a date. If possible, I'm going to look. Dave, of course, we got you. We'll try, to, we'll try with a date as many as we can. Of course, Joe. So we got Joe was the first one. Uh, Shocker, did you want one? You said 35, but I don't know if you wanted one. Daryl. Yeah. Uh, Mustang Dave. Yeah, Daryl Mustang Dave. 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 Daryl Mustang Dave.
Mustang Day Rock Dilla in March. Thank you, Whoopi Doo. It's called a real, a uh, real with an an e at the end, or pieces of eight. These are actually the real pieces of eight that were minted back in 1784. And we'll try to find as many with a date. I can't guarantee dates. Exactly, gringo. These were found in the ocean? These were found in the ocean between Veracruz, Mexico, and um, New Orleans, Louisiana. Wow. How about that? I know, right? Anyone else? So that's uh, what you have one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if Shocker wanted one. He said 35. Maybe he was just saying the price for someone for March. So, Shocker, give me a, like a no if you don't want one. Even Hershey says he'd want one. Stephen Hersey? Yep. Okay. So that's six. I'm going to try to find as many dates as I. And then Joe wants two now. Joe wants two? Yep. If you got them, he says. Okay, that has a date on it. So does that. So that was Joe. I got two for Joe. So this has a date. Silver Shocker says he wants one dated and whole if possible. And then he also put, I'm picky. <laughs> <laughs> dated and whole? Come on. These are pieces of eight. They've been in the ocean for 200 years. Getting just ground smooth. Tough to find dates. So the mistake wrecked, is that what that said? No, the uh, ship, this one, the El Cazador wrecked. And the ship, the fishing vessel, uh, oh, mistake, mistake found, found it. Which is kind of funny. That is ironic. Okay, I only have three with dates. So I'm going to spread them out. Uh, Joe, if you just want the one with the date, I understand. And if you other three don't want one, because I can't find dates on the rest. This is a whole one. No date. So you guys let me know. I can find whole ones, big whole ones. With no dates. Joe Price says his second one with no dates, fine. A second one with no date is fine? Okay. So I got one with the date, one without for you, Joe. Anybody else not want it? I got, uh, who was the second person that asked? Daryl Daryl USA said uh, if he can't get a date, then never mind. Well, who was the second? Slugger had the list up there. Uh, it was Joe Price and Daryl USA. Okay, Daryl, you're second, so you have one with a date. Uh, Mustang Dave, you were third. You have one with a date. Rock and March. Silver Shocker, Stephen Hersey. Yeah, Shocker, I don't think I'll want one if it doesn't have a date. So you, so Rock, Joe Price, Daryl, and Rock were the first three. Okay. So Rock, you got a date then. 
So it would be Mustang Dave, uh, Silver Shocker, Stephen Hersey. Yeah, I don't have any more with dates, Stephen. That's why. I only got three with dates, and they went to the first three. The others I have solid big pieces or whole ones. If you would like a whole one, I still have that going for it. Just no dates because they've been in the water. This one has a lot of markings on it, but the date was chewed off in that bottom portion. I mean, you can see a lot of detail. So Steven says no. Well, Mustang Dave, you'll get one with the date because you were third in line. No, actually it was Rock who was third. The first, because Flutterby said oh, uh, gotcha. Joe, Daryl, and Rock were the first three. Oh, I saw Mustang Dave. Is... That said date. They were the first three to ask for dates. Oh, gotcha. So, if anybody else... And Mustang Dave doesn't want one. Okay. I'm guessing everybody else, unless those first three, they got dates. So, we will just do that. Joe Price got two. One with date, one without. Then we got uh, Daryl USA with a date. Then we got Rock with a date. That's Joe Price's. Two, one with date, one without. That's Daryl USA. Yeah, they are cool pieces, but yeah, the, the, the dates aren't on. I mean, only three with the dates. Sorry. Yeah, Rockzilla. So now we'll do the other bins, the other buy it nows. No one else wanted them if it didn't have dates. If it didn't have a date, yeah. Oh, March? You want one with good detail? Okay, I can find you one that, and I can show you in uh, on the uh, scope as well, one with fairly good detail. I mean, you got to realize all these were in a giant, like this one. <clears throat> this one has a lot of good detail. It's even got the uh, the seal. It's just down there where the date is. It got chewed up. And on this side... You can kind of, yeah, it's hard to see a date down there. But that was the side that the date was on, but this side, uh, it's very nice details. But that's up to you. Uh, Does that look good there, March? Yeah, is this one you like? I mean, I got a couple with decent, again, this one has decent details with the seal. But the other side, uh, you know, got the, the date got chewed up down there. Yeah, a lot of these look really good, but a lot of good details, just that uh, some of the date, uh, all of the dates got tore off. Uh, shipping will be $4, uh, Daryl. Okay. For its age. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. It's probably the oldest thing we've had in here. Yeah. That one. Oh, I forgot to get the card. So that goes with. We'll try those another day. <coughs> Who knows? I may go down on those since we can't see the date, but they're pretty cool pieces of history. So uh, the other bins I have are uncirculated rolls. Um, I have two 1964s. This is the P, and this is the D. 
and then I have a 63D roll and a 61D roll. These are all at 190 each. You can go on any website. They're not selling for less than 203 to $205 for a roll of BU. And as you can see, these are BU rolls. So if anybody is interested in these, they are $190. And you can just do a bin, and if you want one of those specific years, well, let me know. If not, I can always put them away and sell them later. I have two that are 64D. Or actually, one 64D, one 64P. These are quarters. And then a 1963D and a 1961D. Yep, all BUs. Bin at 190 if you're interested. Yeah, at this distance, it is a little grainy. I guess I'm behind on this one, too. Because they're just answer, <laughs> answering the uh, the coin or the. Anybody say anything about the BUs over there? No, this one's same as that one. This one's just a little bit up on it. Okay. So, March, you don't want that eight piece in? Okay. All right. Yeah, he doesn't. So, just pull that aside. We'll put that over here then. So, are we passing on the uh, quarters? We can definitely move on. Thirty-three in the uh, in the house. Thank you very much for being here, guys. So, what are those buy it nows for then? Yeah, these are buy it nows for one ninety. One ninety. Dr. Days, what's happening, brother? And again, you can look at any of the metal sites, any of the sites you'd go by. Uh, you'll see uncirculated rolls going for 203 to $210 a roll. Bassman64 says it'll take 61 Ds. Who's that? Bassman64. Oh, Bassman, yeah. These are buy it now is Joe. Uh, so Baseman 64 wants the 61 DBU. I'll try not to write on that. Try to post a note back. Oh, okay. There. They are 190 a roll. And like I said, you can go on any of the sites, any of the bullion sites. Uh and you can't get BU rolls for less than $203, and that's their cheapest way by check or bank wire. So you'll have to wait. So we got 63D, 64D, 64P. Oh, yeah, Deb, I'll get you one. One ninety per roll. Alrighty, I'll set those aside. We'll move on to something a little bit easier. <clears throat> this is. The Washington Uncirculated 
uh, 90 percent silver half dollar 250th anniversary of his birth so this is the Washington quarter or not quarter half dollar and I think that's up at uh, Mount Vernon where George Washington had his house you will remember that from uh, Nicholas Cage movie oh, what right. is it national treasure what is it oh yeah national treasure so that's on the back of this and this is George Washington and I have three of these available we'll bid on one and we'll go ahead and start that at ten dollars if anyone is aren't arrested, I'll put one there. Let's see if we can fit it. Well, I'll try to fit Washington's face in there. There we go. There's the George Washington half dollar, and I'll put one down here so that you can see it in both angles. And we got Far North coins at 10. Far North is first on my list, if that is what you see, Flutter. Am I way far behind again? You're a little, you're a little behind. They're up to 16. Oh, I was going to say, where's your arrow going? <laughs> Marks is at 16. Vineyard coin searches at 17. Vineyard, hey, what's happening? Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see ya. March back at 18. Yeah, put me on live too. That's probably why. So oh. the top. I don't yeah. know why there's two different. I mean, yeah, I guess for a busier chat, but. Oh, yeah. That might help, but it still looks like it's going. Yeah. What year is the Washington? Well, it's a 1982. Right there, it says the 1732 to 1982. That's 200. And, uh, 50 a year since his birth so there you go I guess it was in 1982 that that was printed so we got $20 for Vineyard Coin Searcher gotta love it Are these D or S mint? Um, let's have a look. <laughs> Looks like they are D. I see the D on the right of the horse's mane. Yeah, and when, when you send your PayPal, make sure you send it to the one that says PayPal email. It's not the same as it was before. Yeah, my Jeff Silversmith got banned because I put my uh, mailing information in the notes too many times. They never told me that, but I'm just figuring it from what I'm hearing from other people in auctions, kind of concluding that. So please uh, use the email underneath the PayPal email and send me your shipping address. Or you can also find me on, on uh, Instagram, Jeff Silversmith. Instagram. I'm going to start using Instagram more as well, IG. So if you want to put my IG up there, you can too. What is it? Jeff Silversmith. Jeff Silver is just all one word. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. My Instagram. Yeah. Yep. All one word. Jeff Silversmith. Silver. Very top left there. Yep. Yeah. All one word. Jeff Silversmith. If you guys are on Instagram, you can uh, follow me up and I'll follow you up. I'm going to do a lot of stuff. Uh, 
on there as well. Comic books, uh, coins, cards. Going once for Vineyard Coin Searcher. Thanks, Stephen. When I get back on there later, I will follow you as well. Going twice. Fair warning. Thanks, Rock. Remember, go ahead and email me. Even though you know I have your address, go ahead and email me your address at my normal email, please. No. No, Shocker. No more uh, end notes because that will get your account banned. I mean, I that's, that's the only thing that I see that I've done any different on my PayPal is when I... Uh, I did some comic book auctions and I bought several and I put my notes, uh, put my uh, P.O. box in the notes several times and then that's, then I got the band hammer. So just, just try to uh, avoid that. So we got Vineyard Coin Searcher. Now you have uh, one, two, or three, your choice. And then we'll go to the person second in line. We have three available. Yeah, friends and family. And uh, just make sure you email me on the bottom email. The email, uh, oops. Right there. Your mailing address. So top one is PayPal, bottom one is uh, for your mailing. And Vineyard, did Vineyard answer over there for you? Am I still behind? Mm, no, I'm not even. I'm not oh, putting okay. Your Instagram up. Yeah, I don't know, Lee. But it was it was everybody who 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 put in notes because uh, the people who were. The people who were even receiving the PayPal got it held if they put it in their notes, no matter what the address was. Thank you, Stephen. Now, uh, Shocker, looks like you're at 24. If you want one at 25, you certainly can. Or if you want both, you are next in line, sir. Okay, so we got one for Vineyard, one for Shocker, and uh, who was before Shocker? They can have it at 25. Oh, March. Well, that's the only thing I could see. I did it 10 times one night. That's probably why. I won 10 auctions in one night and I put it in every one. So I'm guessing that's because that's the only thing I've done differently is put my address in the notes. And I've had PayPal for quite a while. So, but things change. Okie dokie. We'll hold that one for later. So we got one for uh, Vineyard Coin Searcher and one for Silver Shocker. Just uh, post it noted. What's up? All righty. Now we have one for, I uh, don't know, let's do these. We'll do the other two. Other one. This one is from 1993, I believe. Yep. 
1743 to 1993, so that's another 250 years. Um, Thomas Jefferson Dollar. This is 90% silver. Point seven six Troy ounce. So this is, of course, it comes in its own uh, uh, little box as well with its with its cert. And this is a one ounce silver dollar. Oh, okay, got you. So Shocker wants the uh, second one too. We got you, Shocker. So there is the Thomas Jefferson one dollar ninety percent silver, and we'll start that at ten two. That is one ounce silver. These are P or S mints. This one is the Philadelphia one, I believe. Yep, it says right here on the cert. Mint Philadelphia, 1993, uncirculated. See the composition down there is 90% silver. Obverse, reverse, designer, all that good stuff. The cert comes with it. And we got Far North at 20. Yeah, I have no idea, March, because they never told me. I, I literally called them and asked them. <laughs> so. Yeah, and they and I, and gave you nothing. Yeah. Because I asked them, I go, well, why was, why was my account banned? Well, I'll go look into that. And they came back with the exact same answer that it said on the PayPal. You just are too much of a danger for us. And I'm still like, well, why? I mean, why is that? What's the danger? <laughs> like, I could see if it was a new account. Yeah. We got 22 Far North coins. We had Silver Shocker 20. Silver Shocker at 23. We got some good stuff in here tonight, guys. We'll have another commemorative up next. Then we'll do some world coins. Do you see Butterby's comment? Yeah. That's it. They don't have to explain. So, yeah, yeah, I, which is so weird. They had a business account, yep. Yeah. It makes it hard to follow instructions when you don't. <laughs> That's why you almost have to have 15 different ways to pay, like Cash App, Venmo. I have no idea, Bradley. How did you get here? <laughs> I think you just gravitate toward me, Bradley. Silver Shocker 26. Josh Schultz, how are you? It pulled Bradley and Josh. Yeah, I pulled them both in here. I'm working my magic over here. No, it's not the end for them. There are many other uh, uh, things, and there's other avenues. I mean, uh, if they're going to ban people for using, like me, for using my address in the notes, 
because I can't see any other thing. There's no other different thing I did on PayPal. So we got far enough at $27. I would just keep making new accounts if I were them. Yeah. You can make a new account on PayPal. You just have to use a different bank and just never ever put any of your cards in there. That's the whole deal. If that gets, then you just go to another bank, you know, when one of your other banks. You gotta put a new bank number in and everything. Yeah, you have to have a new bank uh, to use. So we got Far, far North, $27, fantastic. Far North coins on that one. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that every time. Anytime I have anything, uh, there's not gonna be anything added to PayPal to show anything. Uh, they're just gonna have to email me all their information. They made a new account on what? I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know what's wrong with PayPal and them not giving a. Because it's all done by computers. Yeah, that's true. Nothing's done by human interaction anymore. No one actually goes out and sees what people are doing. Doesn't seem like it. And plus, you know, uh, that, that's going to be something that's going to be in their algorithms. And somebody in PayPal, a human's going to see that. And they're going to say, why did we lose 50,000 accounts? All right. Yeah, that's horrible. I don't know what's up. Up next is the um, the White House. The White House 200th anniversary coin. So this was what year? Yeah, 1792 to 1992. So this is 1992. This is a 90% uh, silver coin. And it has its own box and its own cert. Again, we'll start this bad boy at $10. Own cert. So when Flutter gets that up there, you can start. I don't know if it's better down here or not on the scope, it looks like. So we got March at 19. Yeah, I don't I don't know how they can not have a reason. You need to have reasons. So I can call there and say, why was I banned? Mission Get Rich 25. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that one, uh, my Jeff Silversmith account also had a, a lot of money in the account as well, and now I have to wait six months for it, which kind of really sucks. That does really, really. And especially with no reason. You could probably almost sue them for that. They make a cut of mine. I 
show you these pictures, Jeff. Mm -mm. This guy playing my guitar. Mm -mm. Friday. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's quite a couple of people. Yeah. Well, that's good. And your guitar. Yeah. I don't know about all them people there. Nice. Yeah, they're packed in there. About, well, about they are. two to three thousand of them. <coughs> well, that's good, Mission. I don't think I can get mine fixed. I tried, and they gave me no reason. Absolutely, March, but uh, I mean, if but it's all done by computer, so if there's no reason, I might make my own business to, that competes with PayPal. Now they'll probably take my other account. <laughs> going once, going twice. Sold. Mission Get Rich. Mission Get Rich. All righty. So there you have it, Mission. The top one is my PayPal now. Bottom one's email. Go ahead and send... Uh, Send, a, send you, uh, everybody who got anything tonight, I want your address in my bottom email. Bottom email. Bottom email. PayPal, top email, address bottom. All right, up next, we're going to do a, this is the, uh, Texas Proof Silver Quarters. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure of the states, Zurich. If I find one and go ahead and email me about it. At the Jeff, at the one that Flutterby just posted, and um, I'll look for some and I'll email you back. Okay. So this is the United Kingdom 1982 Proof Coin Collection. It's got a little bit about the Royal Mint, a little bit about the Proof Coins. It's got the 90 or the 50 pence, 20 pence, 10 pence, 5, 2, and 1, and the half penny. So it's got all that in here, all proof. And this can be all yours for the low, low starting price, again, of $10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins, all proofs, all from 1984, all from the Royal Mint. So when Flutterby gets that up there, you may start. 1984, Flutter. Right there, 1984. So we got March opening up at sixteen dollar. No problem, Flutter. I'll see if any of these are silver. Oh, 
Oh, there's also the one pound one in there. I'm sorry. That's the one pound. 50. 50 pence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only got eight back here, but there's... No, there's eight coins. So the half penny is bronze. The penny also is bronze. The two pence is bronze. Uh, five pence is nickel. Ten pence is nickel. Twenty pence is uh, nickel. Fifty pence is nickel. Nickel. Uh, the one pound is nickel and brass. Nickel, 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 nickel. Nickel. It's a fun word to say. Sure is. Nickel. Francisco. So we got brass, brass, brass. And then this is the nickel brass. And then nickel, 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 nickel. Nickel, 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 nickel. 1984, we got Vineyard going once and twice. Has it sold the Vineyard yet? It sold the Vineyard. Sold the Vineyard. Is Tara coming home, Danielle? Is Tara ever coming home? Probably. Thank you very much. This is your nice carrying case for your 84 mint set. Nickel, nickel, brass, nickel, nickel. Nickel, 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 brass, brass, brass. Chicken, 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 that. Brass, brass, brass. <laughs> Up next, we have another uh, a piece of, uh, this is from the a Royal, ooh, that's hard to see. It's the Royal Canadian Mint. This is from 2004, and it is sterling silver. That makes it 92.5 instead of 90%, 92.5. Really? Sterling silver, 2004. This is This is the Lucky Looney. The Lucky Looney from 2004. It's got the uh, Olympic emblem on it. It's got the red Canadian maple leaf. It's got the loon, the duck. Yeah, Danielle, I'll take a coffee. <laughs> so nice. Sure. Would you want one too? You want one too? No. I'll buy yours. <laughs> Royal Canadian Mint. True. Good. Yeah, 92.5% silver and 7.5% copper. It is 11-sided. It also has the, a numbered certificate with it. You can see the number at the bottom. Did I give you a starting price? No. We'll start this at, this is this 90 sterling silver. We'll start this at 10 too. $10. $10, the Lucky Loon. Lucky Looney, whatever you want to call it. Lucky Looney, they call it. 2004 sterling silver. From our neighbors to the north. Starting at ten dollarini. Sterling silver. We have Zurich at ten. Mission going right out there at twenty. It's 
Smoothies. Zerk 21, Mission 22. Man, I played so much guitar today, my fingers were bleeding. I know. We got a tryout coming up, so I got been practicing. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That would be fun. I think it would be. I've been wanting to join a band lately. Oh, I know. Mission Mission Get Rich. All righty, what are we going to do? Let's do this commemorative next, and then because I have three available. This one is. Let me see if I can put the date in there. This is the Stone Mountain Commemorative. From 1925. This is the uh, Memorial to the Valor of the Soldiers of the South. Stone Mountain Commemorative. We will start this one at $15, and there are three available. So we have one under the scope, and I got two more here. So when Flutter gets it up, starting at 15 for the commemorative, Y'all can start. Now hold down the fort. I gotta, since I couldn't go on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Be our back, guys. Silver sidekick, I'll hold down the fort. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? All right. Okay, so we've got uh, Silver Shocker at 18. Now remember, there's three of these available, so... <clears throat> so I was thinking about them treasure coins from earlier. I was like, I bet you that coin's older than the state of Iowa. It is. I just looked it up. Iowa was founded in 1846. I don't remember much from history class. So I had to look it up. 1846 when Iowa was founded. And uh, so that would make that coin much older than this state. Which is just crazy. Doing pretty good there, J Dog. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Man. That's just crazy. That's crazy. They were just down there in the ocean. Iowa wasn't even a thing yet. Well, it was there, but 
and then it's still down there in the ocean and they're like hey look at this we found this new place it's called Iowa they're gonna grow corn and drink bush light I know it and uh, those coins were down there in the ocean the whole time thank you Mission Get Rich at 25. Oh, Silver Shocker at 25. Vineyard going at 27. I know, Joe. I'm a <laughs> the history lesson brought to you by Google.com, where you can find everything you need to know for anything. Google.com. That's G O O G L E dot C O M. Grow garden, <laughs> drink bush light. I mean, that's, uh, tell you what, I mean, that's, I don't do either of those things. My beer of choice is Miller Light, and I get called an old dad because of that, but, ah, to heck with them. I drink what I like. Either way. So let's see, we've got uh, Silver Shocker, Mission Get Rich is out, so I'm just going to assume, unless Vineyard wants to bid any more, Lee County Scratcher, where's your father-in-law from? Is he from, uh, is he from Iowa? I mean, or Nebraska, because that's the, that's the beer. I mean, last year when they had uh, the Super Bowl down there in Atlanta, literally they had to send an entire truck filled with bush light down there because they just didn't have it. They're just, well, all these Midwesterners are going to come down here, and there's not going to be any bush light, and they're going to be pissed. So they had to send like a whole truckload down there of bush light just for us Midwesterns. Yes, Miller Light. No one thought I was trying to drive the price up. Seriously, it was not. Oh. Uh, I don't think you're trying to drive the price up, but, but I guess that was. Vineyard coin at 29. Silver right back at 30. Uh, we, did, we did a whole history lesson, and then we talked about beer while you were gone. That's great. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I love history. Yeah, I, was, I looked up when Iowa was founded. It was like 1840-something. I'm like, man, those coins were at the bottom of the ocean when they were like, hey, look at there, it's Iowa. These guys are going to grow corn and drink bush light. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. No, you're fine, Flutter. There are choices that people can make. History or not. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I, I really don't don't get into uh, the choices of monuments being taken down. Go ahead and refresh me. Again. Oh, good old Jose Cuervo on the side. Yeah, that is very... I'm like way behind. That's lovely. Good old Cuervo. Uh, Silver Shocker sold 30. He wants all three of them, suckers. All three? Envelope. 
envelope for Mr. Shocker. Okay. What next? Your choice, chat. I got... Two Franklin slabs. I got some AUBU type walking liberties. I got some uh, large scents. I got one seated Liberty dime, and I got a bunch of Morgans. Born and raised in Florida, huh? I got a buddy from Florida. His parents still live down there, too. Actually, Miller Lights brewed with high fructose corn syrup? I did not know that. Actually, my beer of choice, NC St. Franklin Slabs. Xerix saying wolf round, question mark. Wolf round? <laughs> I don't really have any wolf rounds out that I'm doing tonight. I made I'm a I'm a dark beer fan. So uh good old Guinness. I've had that before, but it's not my favorite. I guess that's like the only dark beer that I know of. <laughs> There's a Michelob dark beer that I really like. Coors Light's good stuff there, Flutter. Yeah. I used to drink Coors Light a lot, and then uh, got hooked on Miller last year. But there are a lot of dark beers out there I haven't tried, but I did I did mainly a, uh, the Michelob Dark um, was my favorite. Flat Tire I had before. It's a dark beer, but it, I didn't really like it. Flat Tire is a dark beer? Mm-hmm. All right. I've seen that one. But I might have to expand my boundaries on dark beers because there's a lot of them. I just got the mainstream and one that was in the case, and I like dark beers. So it looks like we have Franklin Slabs is the only one I see. Unless you see anything else over there. I don't see anything okay. else. I, all I see is alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so go up here and open me up something because I don't know where to start these. Because these are pretty good slabs. Do the 56 Franklin first. And then... Uh, How about I just look it up on my phone so it'll go a little bit quicker? Well, because I got the thing bookmarked in my favorites. So just go to star CDN. Then go to prices. Be, oh, you're there. Go ahead and just scroll down here. Scroll down to half dollars. Fifty cent pieces, one more. Then we go, yeah, Franklin full bell lines. <clears throat> and then we got the 56, just plain old 56. Yeah, right there. This way? Yep. And then we'll go down, and this is an NS64, but we'll start it before that. NS64. Okay. We'll start this one. This is a PCGS MS64, uh, full bell line. Franklin half. You haven't sorted your Morgan Jet Shocker. You better get it sorting. <laughs> so we'll start this one at uh, $25. PCGS MS64 full bell line 1956 Franklin slab. Once Flutter gets it up there, we'll start this at 25. Full bail. Full bail. We'll even put that under the scope. 
So we can go down and the full bell line. Look at all that bell there. Look at all that bell line. Now it's got a kind of glare on the other part, but there it is. Full bell line. And we got vineyard at 30. I'll just put that uh, right here. Randy at 32, it's a lovely graded coin. Everybody in that group chat. I don't even think I can do that on this phone. It's so old. That's another thing I got to get is a new phone. Get up to date. Vineyard coin searcher at 42 on this lovely, lovely slabbed piece of silver. And uh, we're gonna get a we're getting a face cam, guys. So that is coming. It's just there's been no cams in our Walmart the last freaking month. So it's uh, been surprising. But I I went online and I ordered one. So hopefully it'll be here soon. You did order one. Yeah. Huh? Silver shots are what? See Ben's face. Ben's. Yep. Oh. This is a solid Ben face, that's for sure. Almost proof like on the front there. Oh, coin cam. Okay. You got it. There is Ben's face on the coin cam. Boom. There's his lack of hairline. There's his chin. Randy is out at 45. Oh, no, I would have had it on there. It would have had Bugs Bunny right underneath that. Right underneath this uh, MS. It would have had Bugs Bunny right there. They had a Bugs Bunny one? Yeah, they had, the, they had a point right there where his lips are. Where it kind of jetted out so it looked like he had buck teeth. Really? Yep. But it would have said on the uh yeah on the yeah on the on the on the label there that it was Bugs Bunny. That's the good part about these now is that those errors themselves will be on there, Bugs Bunny. Vineyard says out. Looks like we might have a winner for Shocker maybe. Yep, sold, sold, sold. Silver Shocker. So, and the next one up, uh, we'll just start at the same price. It's the same thing as before, except it's a 1959D flutter. 
So it's everything else the same. PCGS MS64 full bell lines, 1959D. And we'll go ahead and start that at 25 whenever you're ready. Remind me before we leave. Yeah, yeah 1959D. Again, full bell line. No Bugs Bunny. I had to put it back. And I'll have more of these halves uh, next week, guys, in between when we do searches, okay? I'll have, uh, I'll put those proof 67s up. I think, what did I have, 1957 to 62, something like that. But we'll put those proof 67s up next week, too, in between searches. Very hard to find in that um, proof state. Vineyard going right to 45. Randy is out. This is a tough crowd, isn't it? Shocker bumps up to 40 CO. Oh, Vineyard's not going to take it this time, Shocker. <laughs> Vineyard got out at 46 last time. That's okay, Randy. I understand. Actually, if you guys want to send us uh, goods and services, that's fine, too. I don't care if they take 3%. If that will keep, keep them from taking my PayPal account, I guess I'll... I guess I'll live with it. But if you've already sent it, friends and family, that's fine. Or someone you trust, whatever. Silver Shocker might be nice this time. Might give Vineyard one. And you're like, hurry up, hurry up, drop the hammer, Flutter. <laughs> <laughs> no, there aren't any other pets. <laughs> Vineyard coin Vineyard, searcher. you. All right. Vineyard coin searcher for 48 dollar. All right, since <clears throat> this one, oh, boy, I don't even know if I should. What is it? Should I even put this up or should I keep it? Ooh, I don't know. I'd keep that for a little while. That one is pretty cool. Yeah. I'd keep that for a little while. If I put it up, it wouldn't be cheap. No. I'll show it, though, because I don't yeah. think I showed it. 
Well, maybe I did. I'm oh, not you sure. Did. You didn't last week. This is the, I'm not going to sell this right now, but this is the 2012, I believe. Let me look down there. Oh, 2001. I am sorry. 2001. It's the hologram and opalescent silver eagle dollar collection. It's made with both silver, gold, and also ruthenium. But I'm not going to sell this yet because it's just, it's so cool. If I were to sell it, you wouldn't buy it right now. No, because they wouldn't like the price I put on it. Yeah. That I would start. But who knows? No, shocker. <laughs> That's not the price. <laughs> it is a very nice set. I wanted to show you guys because that's one of the things, too, that I got in this collection was this set. <laughs> I figured you were shocker because if I told you what I'd started at, you would have said no. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. That is fine, Flutter. I'm cool with that. I hold no ill will to anybody who wants to go and support our other uh, members of the coin community. <laughs> Not quite that high, J-Dog, but yeah, it'd, it'd be pretty high. All right, let's do the uh, large cents next. Absolutely. We have... I'm just going to do these together. It's going to be for one, but you can pick one or take both because they both run about the same price. But I'm starting this at the AG price. These are, these are large cents, one from 1958, one from 1951. Alfred R., what's happening? So 1948 and 1951 large cent. I'm um, going to start it at the AG price on gray sheet, which is $14. But, of course, these are much better than that. This is the 1848. So I have two available, one of 48, one of 51. Their prices in range are very similar. So that's why I don't have a problem putting uh, them both up together. So and they're both probably VF ish. And that's much higher than $14. But $14 a start on either one of these coins. You choose or take both. And we got Shocker at 15 trying to you're bidding on one yes bidding on one but of course you can get both one's a 48 one's a 1951 or 1851 1848 both fairly similar in price on gray sheet so i started at the very very lowest gray sheet price which is about good three at fourteen dollars 
and these are probably both VF examples. And Shocker's about to get him for a steal. <laughs> Fifteen bucks each. Yeah. Shocker's about to get him for a steal. Which is okay. It's the Jeff Silversmith way. Absolutely. Oh, Dave, Dave sniping in there at 16. Did he? Yep. He's not on my screen yet. <laughs> Silver Shocker right back at 17. I was getting ready to write Silver Shocker on an envelope. Yeah, almost did. I think Dave's having an internet issue, so he's he probably typed that about 15 Baseman minutes Baseman 64 at 20. Baseman in there? Yep, yeah, Baseman in there. Ooh. Silver Shocker back at 20. Ooh. I don't think refreshing helps. Not me. It does for like a minute, and it's done. Yeah. But I thought I thought Mustang Dave said he was having internet issues tonight too. I think he wore out the internet being here all day. I don't know. I was only on that couple hours, or that from like three o'clock till four thirty. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I was down here at one thirty. <laughs> See what Flair says? Refresh Jeff again, sidekick. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I don't like it helps. Oh, Flutter had the circle. Okay. I don't think that even helps the circle. No, that's that's each, Scott. You're bidding on one, uh, so you can get the other one. They're both the uh, starting price I started at was AG3 in gray, in gray sheet, so that's around $14, and these are probably both VF. They're very similar in price uh, from the 48 and the 51, so. Do, 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 do. Bing, wah, wah, wah. Spread out some of these other BU quarters rolls since I have that many. <laughs> since I have that many. You got that many? BU quarter rolls, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Silver Shocker 23 going. Oh. Baseman com large come in at go. 25. There's a 50, there's a 48 and a 51 flutter. They're both similar in price, so I decided to put them both out there at the same time. <clears throat> there's a bunch of memes. When you sell something, the government. <laughs> when you buy something, the government. When you pay an employee, the government. When you get paid, the government. When you work extra hard and make overtime, the government. <laughs> when you give money, someone money or property, the government. When you die, when you own property, when you own a vehicle, when you want to go fishing for the year, <laughs> when you go fishing without a license, when you win a lottery, when your windows are tinted a little too dark, when you make an addition... <laughs> That is a lot of memes. And it's all the same thing. Just yeah. <laughs> the government. The government. The government, the government wants government. their share. The government. See, this is a BU just uh, got a little toning to it. Oof. Aren't those, don't those just shine? Look at that. Those BU Shiny. quarters. I got so many rolls of these. And your coin search are coming in at 32. You, this is a slow moving auction, but boy, it's still moving. Yeah, that's it's okay, Flutter. It's my fault. I have been very busy. I was going to try to make a sheet when I came back 
uh, from getting the those uh, little pamphlets from that uh, sunken treasure, the El Cazador. I was going to try to make a sheet, but just didn't have enough time. It's been a very busy past couple days. Yeah. For me, week. <laughs> yeah. the cat? I, don't know, I think so. There's no one over there. No, she's not back yet. So. What did what did I open my mouth about? <laughs> Cuz you see all these beautiful white just sparkling white quarters. Just beautiful. I just wanted to play with them. Baseman is at thirty three. Oh. Ah. Okay, that's really weirding me out now. And you open a bag by the door, and the cat had started dragging <laughs> it under the door. Baseman sold for 33. Baseman? Baseman 64. Baseman, do we have any of the bidders? Baseman says no. <laughs> and he takes both. I figured that. Base man, 33 times 2. And now the cat's mad that I pulled the bag away. I know it. You're horrible. Horrible, I saw. I didn't even see you walk out there, so that was kind of weird, too. Did you just grab the bag? Oh, yeah, yeah. True, shocker. That was my fault when I said it was a steal, but... It was the truth, too. <laughs> Up next, we have a dime. We got a dime here. Don't say that, J-Dog. You're going to freak me out. We got an 1,858 one-seated uh, Liberty dime. Thanks, Space Man. I appreciate it, buddy. 1858 seated dime. Uh, stars are good. There is some wear on the front, but you can still see the Liberty and you can see the drapes. We're going to start this at AG3 in, in, the, in the gray sheet, which is $10. I would call this VG to find. Even with the wear on the face and the body, but you got the drapes, you got the Liberty. Got a pretty. 1858. Is that a proof? No, it's just a seated uh, Liberty dime. We got Zurich at 10. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to put it away. I don't know why. I'll leave it under the scope so at least you can see the date. Okay. 
can't really see it all. I want you to see the date. Mustang Dave at 15. Yeah, there's one you're not going to be very happy with me with, too, when I put it up. I don't know how I'm going to sell those more birds. Like, I have a group in the 1800s, everyone but 1888. Every one of them but 18... 1880 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seven and 9. Mm. So I don't know if I want to do that as a group or just... I don't know. Did they make one in 88? Maybe they just didn't make one that year like they did, didn't make a large scent yeah. in the 1815. I don't remember, but this one is the one they're not going to like when I start the price. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. I kept the older one, so this, is, this isn't this is even the older one. That's the newest one? Yeah. <coughs> Mustang Dave, 25. We got a vineyard doing at 27. Shocker going to 30. Shocker. Yeah. Uh, nope. No? No, we're at Vineyard at 34. Okay. There we go. So, <laughs> so no. I'm at 32 over here. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I think I'm going to try to have a big... Bigger room. I mean, there's going to be bigger room now. I'm a, I got more room now. I might try to... Oh, good. You got the Instagram down there, too. I like that. Yeah. You haven't seen that? <laughs> I didn't notice it because when I was looking under the camera, oh, page, gotcha. know, I just didn't look up there. That's uh, great. Oh, like, hey, yeah, that's, that's good. Up <coughs> but I'm going to eventually turn my basement uh, after I clear it out and redo it into the stream room that'll be nice nice and cool down there and nice and cool down there and then even in the winter it's nice and warm down there right right um so it's very because it's underground so it's kind of an even temperature man because this this is hot up here i'm grabbing that bag again I'd call it VG to VF uh, fine arts. I mean, it's it's just a wide range because there's so much wear on the on the chest and head, but that's normally where it gets worn. The stars are really good. The Liberty's good. You can still see the drapes on the seated, <coughs> and then the back. Has a really strong strike. There's a there's a little wear on the back, but you can see how strong the strike is with the edges around uh, America, you know, United States of America. I mean, good strike, really good strike. I'm going to borrow the mouse for a second. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to go to the Walking Liberties next. They're really good, guys. It's not going to be easy to price these because they're not. Um, 
slab, but you, you'll see when I show you um, how good they are. And we'll keep that one to last. That's the other S, is it? <coughs> no. Mustang Dave at 45. <coughs> that one will keep the last because that one's tough. That one's tough. very similar. We'll just do three because that one's tough. <coughs> Silver Shocker, $46. Sold, sold, sold. Silver Shocker, 46 Okay. Silver Shocker, 46 I'm just looking at the next one I'm going to put up, guys. I'm going to try to find a starting price on this. Because you will see that it's pretty tough. I think we'll start it right around there. We'll start it right around there. I'll do one more. For, okay. Okay. I'm going to do one more refresh on this before I give you the mouse back. <clears throat> Up next, we have two uh, beautiful 1943 Walking Liberties. They both had a, a mark on here of MS-63. So the person believed that these were very high grade uh, walking liberties and when we get them on the scope you'll see why <clears throat> good big cami on this one big cam on big this cami. one this is a 1943 walking liberty just regular no s no d no p no nothing but as you can see tons and tons of detail even on the head even the dress look at that all of the lines wow. there all the lines on the dress 1943 all the rays all the rays on the sun and then the back. <clears throat> so this person believed this; these were MS-63s. All right, J-Dog. You have a great night, brother. But I'm not going to start it. If you would go, go look at these and go look at MS-63, you'd be looking right around $80 a coin. But here, Jeff Silversmith will start these at $18. Now they're both pretty close, pretty darn close. He had them both labeled as MS-63. So I'm kind of going to agree with this. And I have two available. So that is one price starting at 18. Now again, this is just MS63 is just speculation, but you can look for yourself. I've shown them both on cam. <coughs> I 
can never guarantee a grade, that's for sure. But if I had these, which I do, I'd send them in. But I also need to start making a little bit of money back on this purchase. Go ahead and pull it out there. Oop. Okay. When he gets back. I just go ahead and put back the regular cam. I'll, I'll have one under scope and one on cam. They both are. There we go. Ooh. Do I have to, yeah, I don't have enough light on there. Yeah, it's getting dark. Let me hit the focus button real quick. Oh, you're all right. I probably, it'll probably focus. <clears throat> we got Finyard at 45. Wow. So one under scope, one in my hand. Uh, these are both available, but you are bidding on one right now. David 50, Vineyard 55. The county says out. Thank you very much for your bids, brother. Dave is going to pop off to that 60. Yeah, they're very, very, very high grade. This next one is two, but you're not going to like where I start it. Because <laughs> it's kind of a semi-key. Semi-key date. Yeah, they're very, 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 very good. Well, I mean, they're more than that. Let me see the mouse again. I'm just going to check that. The next one's uh, so that's the next one. Just look at the year and, and the mint mark on the back. If I would send that in. And get the mark on it. Ooh, holy cow. That's amazing. It is. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it right about here. What? Because I'm crazy, right? You are crazy. That is crazy start price. <laughs> I'm crazy, man. $63 that sold a vineyard. Okay, vineyard. Now you have a choice. You want one or you want both? <clears throat> one or both, your choice. Pretty, pretty. One or broth. One, please. One, so. One, please. So we have, who is next? Dave? Mustang Dave, do you want one? Mustang Dave, you can have one for 63 if you like. Mustang Dave, would you like one? He was having issues, so give him a second. He might just be hearing it. Sure, Dave will take you in. Okay, there you go, Mustang Dave. 
All righty, this next Walking Liberty is from 1939, and it is a S mint mark, I believe. Yep. It's an S. I just want to triple check down there. Look at that S right there on the scopey scope. Y'all see that S? <clears throat> yeah, you can make it go big if you want. There it is. Boom. Boom. S. It's an S, and it's just as pretty as the last two. It's so pretty. Except this is kind of a semi-key, so unfortunately it won't start at $18 like the last two did. This is a very, very pretty 1939S that is going to start at $50. He had it graded again, MS-63. You go look at the MS-63. And see how crazy Jeff Silversmith is for starting it at $50. Yeah, I really am. I shouldn't, but I will. I should start it for double that, but... That's pretty nice. That's a nice coin right there. I should start it for double that, but I'll, I'm nice to my beautiful people. Start it for double. Yeah, I should start it at double that. Not get double, start it for yeah, double. Yeah, start it for double that. <clears throat> this is a semi-key. Uh, if, if you collect and like a variety of coins, this is one you'll want to get. I mean, look at the luster. It's stunning. I mean, it's great. Go find an MS-63 out there and price it. <laughs> I bet you won't see one cheaper than 200 bucks. <clears throat> but this is not graded, so this is just an opinion, MS-63, but you saw it on the scope. Very, very good. It's a lovely one. Baseman knows it. He goes right to my original starting bit. Silver Shocker at 110. <clears throat> I almost put my phone right in everybody's face. Yeah, 110, that's still a steal. Phoenix Fine Arts wants to see the breast feathers. Did I give you this? I didn't give you these. Did oh, no. Those were different ones. The breast feathers? Bum, ba, da. You mean all of those breast feathers? You mean almost every single breast feather you could possibly want? Is that what you're talking about? Phoenix Fine Arts? There, there you go. Those there? Every single solitary breast feather that you might want to know and love. Flutter says, refresh me. <laughs> yeah, you're not any further behind than I am. Oh, okay. <clears throat> How about that for breast feathers? That was pretty breast feathery. This is what's great, though. Look at that. Look at the dress All lines. lines. Not a single piece of wear on any of those dress lines. 
Then you got the rays as well. The rays is where a lot of wear comes in. And of course the, the breast area and the face. The arm. This is, this is just a great coin. Probably the nicest, yeah, like uh, Xerox said, probably the nicest walker. Seen. It's definitely the nicest walker I've had other than that graded one I have. And at 130, Shocker's getting a fantastic CD. Even at 130, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I got to shut my mouth, don't I? Don't I, well, Shocker? Well, no, Sorry. Mustang Dave got in there before the sold, sold, sold. And plus, she only said going once, Flutter. Come on. You can't go say going once and say sold, sold, sold. <laughs> yeah, goo. <laughs> it could be, Phoenix. It could be. That's, again, just an opinion. We can't. Uh, yeah, I think it's a higher than sixty-three as well. But it definitely could be. If it's a sixty-four or even the, I mean, if we get, if you get above a sixty-five on that, that'd be pretty amazing. Mustang Dave bag of one fifty. They know what this thing's worth. Man at 160. <clears throat> oh my. That's worth well worth it. E pluribus unum. E pluribus in the house? Oh no. No, it's on the corner. <laughs> I thought E pluribus is in the house. Oh. Hand are getting sweaty, but I wanted to look through those uncirculated, so I didn't want to touch them. <coughs> I'll just show you this one since they're still bidding yeah there really isn't because you don't even see any bag strikes on the on the areas where there would be bag really, strikes that thing would be just sent in really I probably should have, but I'm such a nice guy. Usually you'd see some bag dings on there. Yeah. There's nothing. I mean, yeah. There they are, brother. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those sandals. Yeah. You can see that they are sandals. Look at that. Wow. Look at that foot, man. Yeah. <laughs> you should have sent that thing in. You're right. I should have. I may have just hornswoggled myself. Phoenix is bidding now. After seeing the sandal, I yeah. would too. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. That's an AG3. That's the AG3 pipe. Dang. AG3 is bad. Isn't that's it? the worst, almost the worst you can get. There'd be hardly any detail. You'd Dang. be able to see the date. This one, just look at that really close under the light. Yeah, that's clean. And look how quick it's getting hardly any uh, bag marks. I can see from the naked eye. Look, look, look what it goes up to just in fine. Huh. That's, that's like that's the lowest one, fine 12. Wow. And it's better than that. Fine 15 is lower than fine 12. What does that mean? It's, no, it's not. The, this the CAC. You got to look at the oh. CAC, CAC certified. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Baseman got it up to 180. Boy, we're talking about the next auction coming up, so. <laughs> Mustang Dave at 190. Well, 
I mean, they know it. They know what this thing well, is worth. I mean, that's what I like about you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what you're bidding on. There's only 15 of you in here, but still, ones that are in here know what they're looking for. And you guys know I got it. Base minute 200. Beautiful 39S. Was your wife there, base? <laughs> <laughs> Stepping into the backhand. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that's the most detail I've seen on a sandal on one of them walkers. Thank goodness we have that scope cam to do this coin justice. So this one is an, I don't even know. I got another walker here that's pretty, pretty good. I just want to look at the sandal on that. That's pretty good too. Yeah. But this one isn't a, isn't a rare or a kind of a key date. A this key one date. Is. Yeah, this one is a key date. <clears throat> I mean, he's almost the same kind of silver shocker two oh five. Really? Wow. This thing started at fifty bucks. Said I knew I was crazy doing it that, but yeah. still. Dave I, out. I thought for sure. Oh man, what are you doing? The next one's worse though. Shocker 205 Dave is out, unfortunately. I think Base I said that. Still in. Baseman yeah. still has a shot. Oh, you went to 210? Yep. Okay, I'm just a little behind. <clears throat> just keep ducking, Baseman. Keep ducking. Stay away from that backhand. Do we have any other bidders? Baseman, of course, says no. <laughs> uh, it's just him and Silver Shocker right now. Baseman, actually, that was yep. for that was that was for uh, Silver Shocker's first. Yeah. That was the other bidders, but yeah. you got in, Baseman. So. Yeah, now Silver Shocker's at two fifteen. Two fifteen. Baseman, you got another. Uh, Another stretch in there. You got another yada yada. Oh, yada's not here. Yada ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen yada. It's probably in Peggy's stream. Could be. They're hunting, so a lot of people like the hunting uh, yeah. aspect, and I understand that. I just can't get any coins yet until the that. Is lifted. Until people stop using the excuse of COVID. Thank you. <coughs> also fixes thinking. And it's, it's really not that. It's that there's not enough banks open to, to circulate the coins. Oh, gotcha. So that's why. Flutter, Phoenix is thinking. Okay, basement. You have to go to M65 to get 225 on out. Okay, baseman is out. I think this will, this might go for M65. Yeah, I was going to say, this is probably going to go for M65. Maybe. I mean, they, it'd be worse sending well, it. Phoenix five arts is out, Fine Arts is out, so I think Silver Shocker's got it. Well, he might. Okay, he is out. Okay. So Shocker at 215. Well, those two are out, so I would say it's sold. Well, you never know. Oh, there it is. Two fifteen for Shocker. Just put that on the Shocker pile. Shocker pile. The Shocker pile, we say. Okay. 
Let's do this. I think we'll hold the Morgans because there's just a lot of them. I think we'll hold those. But I'll have them, guys. We'll do them next time. I've got, I just want to do, do these last three items, I think. <coughs> Go ahead and put up the, oh, I can do that. Never mind. Yeah, you got the mouse over there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just like. <laughs> so here's what I want to do next. So we got a roll. Roll the big boys. These are all peace dollars. They're all common years from uh, 22. There's a 26 here. There's a 22. There's a 23. I got a roll of peace dollars that I'm going to start. Hmm, what is he going to start at? At $360. That's $18 a coin. Varying years, but commons, probably mostly 22s and 23s, but there's a 26 in there. There's a, see if there's any other dates, but I think I saw a 24 and a 26. Whole roll, whole roll, 20, actually it's double roll, because usually a roll is 10, but there's 20 in here. 20 piece dollars, probably average circulation, whole roll starting at 380. Or 360. Yes. 360. I'm 360. sorry. 360. That's like, eight. That's $18 a coin. Like how many degrees there are in a circle? There is one worn one in here so far. But the rest are average circulation. I would say mostly 22s and 23s, but there's a 24 and a 26 in there. Entire roll. Beautiful clinky, clinky. Clinky. 360 is 16 or $18 a coin. Boom. That's the lowest I can go, lowest I can start. Up to you, up to anybody who wants it. Silver Shocker, you know, jump in at 360. That'll be a, a definite good piece for his stack, that's for sure. <laughs> Seems like that too because my brother was born on a key date as well for a lot of coins. 1955, my brother was born, and there's a lot of key dates in that year for a lot of different coins. <clears throat> Got two items left after this, and what I think we'll call it a night. I got some other stuff to do, but I think this is sold to Silver Shocker. I figured that would be 360 for that, for our big man Silver Shocker. Let's do. I'm gonna do one of these uh, tenth ounce. I have two, but I'm gonna do one. I want to keep one for now. But we got, a uh, of course, a 10th ounce double eagle. This is from 1997. 
Uh, we're going to start that at $180. Hi there, Reed. What's up, puppy? Larry. What's up, little doggy? Larry's so nice when he's out of the kennel, yeah. Hi, Larry. So I knew Dave would like that at 180. I got Dave first on my screen. Phoenix just, just slightly after. I found your friend. How was your pop, Dave? The, yeah. Uh, the cat was dragging that bag. <laughs> so I pulled, oh, really? I, I pulled it back, yeah. and then it stuck its paw out and drug it back. It's like the tamari. I went, in the, I went out That's there right. ten different times to pull that bag back, because I could hear him go... Yeah, because right. he was just like, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> Deacon's at home. He I was just getting a little too hot up here. Door. He's still and I, I went out there and it was under the door again. <laughs> that right. We got Vineyard Coin Searcher at 200. We got Phoenix Fine Arts now at 205. Are you kidding me? Mustang Dave, 210. Maybe there's cat. That should be a Mustang David 210 flutter, I believe. Phoenix is 205. Well, Vineyard, Vineyard is 220, so we're good. With that beautiful gold that people love so much, I love it too. I'll get more eventually, I hope. Dave's got to take another shot, 225. 1997 Double Eagle. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. That's all right. Vineyard 235. Vineyard wants that bad. I don't blame Vineyard. Ninety-seven. Wait, ooh, wait a second. Was ninety-seven the low mint run? Maybe. I don't remember. So it could be uh actually approved too. Is that a ninety seven? It is a ninety seven. It looks like approved too. One tenth ounce proof, yes. Yeah, it is a proof, most likely, too, yes. I would say, yes, this is a proof. Because the last two I got uh, look like this, and they, I sold those, I think, to Dave, and they were both proofs, too. Prince! What are you doing, Prince? Want to say hi? Want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Want to say hi? Good boy. Oh boy. We got a bidding war. Vineyard and Dave want this. Oh, hi, kitties. <laughs> Vineyard 250. Dave says out. What a battle. Thank you both very much for bidding. Dave is out, so we'll just counter down there, Flutter, whenever you want to, since those were the last two standing. And we'll give that b bad boy to Vineyard.
Oh yeah, we, I mean, I'll have, I'll have them for you. That's for sure, Zurich. <laughs> so, so, so. Vineyard, lovely. Yeah, they are, Dave. Okay, this is the last one of the night, and then we'll probably wrap it up. This is a beaut. This is a beauty. I'm having a hard time with this one. <laughs> this one is an 1825 cap busted half. Cap busted half dollar. 1825. There is a little bit of wear on it, as you can see on the rim there. But as you go along, you'll see the ridges coming back by the stars. You see the eye and mouth and nose fairly clear. But they definitely held this by the ridge. This is another beauty. It's got a little stain there between the T and E. Just a little bit of damage. But cat busted eighteen twenty five. Uh, I'm going to, do you want me to, Zurich? I can, if you want me to. I, I just thought it was getting late for everybody, and I was going to do them later. But I can pull them out, Zurich, if you want a chance at them. I definitely will. So you just, you just let me know. If it's not too late for you guys, uh, What's the starting, bid, the on starting bid on this is $70. And believe you me, that's super duper cheapy. But if people are on and would like to have the Morgans, I'll do those last. I'll do those next. I just thought it was getting late for some of the East Coasters. It is getting kind of late. You want one, Zurich? Okay, if nobody else wants one or Zurich wants one, I'll pull you out one and sell it to you for $20. How's that sound? I'll do one for 20 Yeah, just a bin on the on a random one I pick out. Is that Robin or is that? Nah. He says, "Wait a second. <laughs> Mustang Dave going right to a hundred on this. I can pull one out of here, Zurich. I have uh, I'll try to find you Well yeah, that's true. But I do have some East Coasters here and Flutter helped me, she's East Coast. Let me go back to auction real quick. I'm going to show this to Zurich. Zurich, you uh, send 25 or 20 plus four shipping. You got it. 24 total to the PayPal at the top, and then send me your address and stuff to the email below. I want everybody to do that, even though you have it. This is an 1883, and I'll send that to you. That's true, and Shocker is. Lee County Scratcher says he's waiting on Morgans as well. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. We'll pull, we'll, I'll just pull those other Morgans out. We'll do like two or three of them, I guess.
I'll just pull some out and we'll just do a bin for, I'll pull out five. Because if you just wanted one uh, Azuri lead, do you want just one or would you like more than one? You just let me know. I got a couple other dates here. I kind of like that one. And Phoenix, you want one too? Phoenix wants one too? A free 21 for $20 at Hook's Good. Yeah, I have a few pre twenty ones that I can do for that price, so Lee County wants two gold miners interested. <laughs> no crap I don't have that many. <laughs> cause I didn't I, I just put them away because I had uh I didn't want to go too awfully late for you guys. I don't mind being late, but that's just Trying to be courteous to everybody else. Zurich just wants one, and she likes the one you showed her. Okay. I'll send that one to Zurich then. So mark that for Zurich. We had Dave at 140. Is that the end of this or not? Nope. Shocker Silver 145. Shocker's at yep. Lee County Gold Miner, how many do you want? You can have up to that are pre pre twenty one. Just because I'm being nice tonight. Gold miner wants to. I think I got enough out. Oh, Phoenix says he's okay. Just think that's a good deal for those looking for Morgans. So Phoenix oh, oh. doesn't want one. Okay. He was just saying this. He was, game. yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. All right. We got a, another. That's fine, Flutter. So we'll just do that. And then, of course, I'll still have the other Morgans for auction later. Twenty ones. Let me try to find you. I got who was who was first? I had uh, Lee County, right? Lee mm -hmm. County was first. Yep. Okay, Lee County. I got you an eighty-three and an eighty-four. I'm trying to find another one for you, Gold Digger. I got you an eighteen eighty. No, that's the one I like. I'm sorry. I got some more in here. We got an 830 for you. And I think I got a. Wow. I almost put that 80, 84 cc on his stack there. <laughs> they would have liked that. Yeah, he would have loved my mistake there, wouldn't you, gold, gold miner? <laughs> 1884 cc for 20 bucks. <laughs> Does that oh, it's been okay. Yeah, we're almost, almost done. Yeah, we almost done. I got you an 83 and an 84 to uh, Gold Miner. So that'd be uh, 44 bucks, Lee County and Gold Miner to my PayPal. And then uh, your address to the uh, lower email, the email below the PayPal. 
I want to make sure I get everybody's address tonight in my email, not my PayPal. Okay, Vineyard, thank you so much. We still got Dave. Everybody's going on that. Wow. Yeah. So that's Lee County Scratcher. Lee County Scratcher. And this is uh, Gold Miner. Just because I got a few Morgans and then I got some in that other box too, so I don't mind doing that every once in a while. <clears throat> so we got Dave at 170 going twice. Dave, that's a great, great deal. Love it. Oh, shocker. <laughs> You're so behind. <laughs> I probably am, but still. <laughs> the emotions hitting you. The emotions hit me because she was on any other bidders, and that's it. I am so far behind. Sorry, guys. Dave at 190. Oh, gee, that was way back. I was at 170 over here. Oh. Yeah. You, you needed to tell me to shut my mouth a long time ago. <laughs> Man, you would think <coughs> they'd be able to keep up on chat. It's just so simple. It's just a message board. Yeah. I just think it's this building. I really do. I don't know. It's a direct line. Maybe a direct line, but it's not a real cable company, in my opinion. True. It isn't. That's horrible to say, but. It is just a couple of guys that got together in town and decided to be an yeah. internet provider. This is a tough one, guys. I understand, boy. Duking it out. We got Rocky. We got Clubber Lang. We got Rocky and Vlad Drago. I mean, whoever. Yeah, just one underscore, Lee County. Yeah, just the one underscore. Yep. That is the PayPal on top and my email at the bottom. Unfortunately, that uh, PayPal at the bottom got banned. And I imagine it was because of the use of my address in the notes. So that's why I'm trying to keep addresses separate. And also, if you want to do goods and services, that's fine with me. I don't care. If that keeps me in their good graces so they get money off me, that's fine. Or I suppose if you go goods and services and you want to be nice to me, you can add 3%. Then that way they get their 3% and I don't get hamstringed. So. But it's up to you. Either way, guys. Thank you very much, Vineyard. <clears throat> we got Dave and Silver Shocker. Thank you, Gold Miner. Sure thing. Uh, if you sent me your address and email, Lee, uh, I'll, I'll email you back um, if it came through when I get home later. But 
Boy, this is back and forth, you yeah, guys. You talk, yeah, talk about the last auction being the longest one, man. <laughs> well, yeah, this one's this is a good coin. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I got an older one, but I kept it. Good coin, my friends. Dave, two twenty. Yup. <laughs> From storage wars, remember that? Mm-hmm. I remember that bleep hole. Yep. 230 Shocker just jumped at 10. He says he's not going to play games anymore. Mustang Dave 250. <laughs> it's like Dave and Daryl from Storage Wars. I don't care who either one of you want to be. One of you can be Dave. You could Dave Muskang Dave if you want to be Dave. <laughs> there. Huh? Where's the hammer emote? Somebody drop the hammer. Well, you two know each other so well in here from battling it out every one, you know, every once in a while. So, <clears throat> hammer. Oh, Dave went to two seventy. Shocker Shock. says two seventy five. They dropped their hammers. One going thirty, jumping ten. The other one going twenty, jumping, uh, jumping from thirty to fifty. Then 15, another hammer drop. Now they're going back to their $5 increments. All right, Lee County. Mustang Dave's out. I give up. Okay, shocker. Silver, shocker, 275. What a battle. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Dave, send me an email if there's something else uh, you're looking for, too. We can talk because I promised... Uh, Silver Shocker some things too because he emailed me and asked um, so after this um, I'm going to show some of the other BU uh, rules for Shocker because he asked first I had these others available alrighty Silver Shocker gets that 1825 cap busted half boom <clears throat> but Dave, you can also message me. Uh, I've also sent that out, Jason4343, because you guys have all asked. But... So I don't want to touch these, but Shocker, I wanted to show you some of these rounds that are um, different years. It's not just all one year, it's a mix of years. So, and then you can tell me what you want, if you want any out of these. Um, I don't think these are full rolls, let me check. This one's overfold. Overfold. These are all BU. Uh, let me see if they have any ranging dates. We're just showing these uh, to Silver Shocker Flutter. We're done with the auction. Yeah, we're done with the auction, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. But I couldn't get the uh, private chat to work for some reason, the private stream. Uh, so... I don't mind doing this because Shocker had emailed me and asked me about this. But this looks like all 62s mainly. So, But I know he, he likes a variety of, of dates. So I just wanted to uh, give him an opportunity of the BU roll at 190 like I had the other BU rolls. And then, of course, Dave, uh, if there's anything... But I'm going to have an auction of 
some of the slabs uh, in the middle of our hunt next week. We're hunting next week? We are. We got three, uh, three boxes. Cool. Thank you very much, Flutter. Appreciate it. Hey, Jeremy. So here's some more AUBU. I think I looked at these, and these are, these are full rolls, but I'm trying to get you the mix here. Yeah, that's fine, Flutter. I got the I got those. Thank you very much. It's got a ton of BUs. Okay. That sounds good, Zurich. Yeah, these are not all 64s, but a lot of 64s. So we won't do that one either. <clears throat> unless you want I mean if, it, if you want just a couple to stack but if you want multiple years yes Dave BU quarter rolls if you're interested uh, I I want 190 a roll because uh, it's cheaper than the silver guys and that's all the lower I want to go on these otherwise I'll keep them I mean, I got 20 rolls, so, I mean. Oh, that's great, Lee. I can't guarantee the mints, uh, Shocker, but I'll try to find uh, I know I had one or two with multiple years, 60s, 50s, 40s. Nothing super huge, um, but these are just, you know, BU quarter rolls. And they're, I mean, they're just great to stack. Any BU, great to stack. No, they're not all 64s. 64s, 63, 62. Like here, here I have rolls that, these two rolls are just 64s, P and D. But I have a 60, a roll of 63 D. These were the, these were the bins earlier tonight. And then I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen more rolls. I'm trying to. I wish. <laughs> fourteen more rolls. I'm going through to try to see dates. This is a uh, sixty-two, sixty-three so far. Yep. So that's sixty-two, sixty-three in this one. Sixty ones. Kind of go halfway through. See now there's a thirty nine. I go sixty two and thirty nine. Okay, forty five. This roll fifty four. Okay, I got one here with multiple years. We'll count that roll, make sure there's 40 in there. So 
So that has multiple years in this one. So we'll count it and make sure there's 40 in there. It looks like this one as well. This one has a lot of 50s. No 40s in the 60s. This might be a mostly, yeah, this is a mostly 59 wall. This is looking to be anywhere from 50 to 59. Yep. Oh, there's a 55. That's a good one for that $190. <laughs> yeah, this seems, yeah, this is an entire, this is kind of a mixed roll of 50s from 50 to 59. So I'll keep that out. Get interested and I'll count it, make sure there's 40. Still got a few more ball rolls left. I can split these amongst you too if you're interested. If I get a few, another couple more rolls, and it looks like these are all 60, yeah, 63 and 64s. Just from the top there. It's a good year. A roll of sixty twos. And this is not a full roll. Not a full roll, so I'm making a mess with it. Looks like we got two. <clears throat> two rolls that have varying years and varying, probably varying mint marks. So I can give you, uh, if Dave would like the one, if that's okay with you, Shocker, you can have the one from, looks like I got a 62 on top and there's a 39 in here too. So I can give you this roll for 190 and Dave likes the mix of the 50s if that's okay. This would be the 50s and this would be the 90s. <clears throat> Just so I can give you both one. Unless you want some of those others, I mean, they're they're not, uh, like I said, they're not mixed years like these two. Well, I'll I'll allow you anything. I I just want to give Dave one of these, if that's all right. This is the mix of the fifties. You got the sixties, back to the thirties, so that one will be one ninety for you. If you want any of these others, they're not mixed. I only had two that were mixed. That ship that wrecked yeah. is carrying 37,500 pounds of silver. Yeah. So I'll give that one to Shocker. Shocker? And then give this one to Dave. This one, Mustang Dave. And then it'd just be up to you if you want these others. Yes. The first one has 60s to 30s. It looks like all, all the way through. 60s, 50s, 40s, and 30s. I don't know how many of each, but I saw a 60, I saw a 50, and I saw a 40, and I saw a 30. So... Yeah, you got you got every every decade of them. I just don't know 
I just saw the one one year. One ninety, uh, Dave. Uh, now, if you want any of these other shocker, you're welcome. They're just not varying years. They're either a roll of 59s, a uh, roll of uh, 60s, you know, 60 smattered amount, 60 to 64. You know, these are specific, like that's all 63D. This is all 64 P and D. But, I mean, I have... A couple rolls are just pretty much all 59s, and then other rolls that are all 60. All right, sounds good, Lee. I will. But you can have any amount of these. I mean, since it's just all one year. Who got who got the? Oh, I gotta look at that. Well, who got the first? Uh, who got the 61 roll that looks like this? The round one. Baseman got the 61 roll for 190. I think I'll go cheaper. Nightly. Let's see. If you want one, and I'm a, I'll charge Baseman that too, since that would only be fair. Like, if you just want to stack, like, uh, Shocker, this 63 roll, I'll do it for 170. And I'll put 170 on, on uh, base mass for that 61 roll. Like, if it, these are pretty much, this is a roll of BU 63s. If you want that, you can have it for 170. If you want uh, a roll of 59s, you can have it for 170. Because it's just like a, pretty much a solid roll of that year. So if 170 is a good price point to get a whole roll, the same thing, just to stack. And there's a 62, so I got a uh, 59 uh, roll of, from 63 to 62. This is a roll of 61 as well. So if you just want to stack it, I'll go 170. But if you want to mix for collections, those are the those are the only two rolls I have that have mixes. And that's not a full roll. That's a full 64. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Flutter. So you want to you want another with just the same year, Dave? If they're just the same year, but they're BU. Because that's all I got. You just let me know. You want one for 170? Like if it's a. Uh... I mean, how many do you want, Shocker? Night Flutterby, thanks very much. I mean, you said done at 170, but I didn't hear. Like, did you want these four up here? Let me see. Maybe I got a, maybe I got a 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, or whatever. Okay, Dave, gotcha. So this is 60, or 62, 61. Oh, I had another 61. I think this is 63, yep. 61, 62, 63, and 59. 
64. So 61, 62, 63, 64. But I'm going to also sell that last one to uh, Baseman for 170. So I'm going to send him money back. So I'm sure he paid. That's another 59. That's another 64. I'm almost trying to find you. It's like six years in a row, shocker. Like 60 or 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. But I'm not finding the 60. Nope. Nope. I'll get you. Yeah, I got two sixty ones here, so I'll send you a roll of sixty ones, okay, Dave, for one seventy. And then shocker. I've got a fifty nine, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four. For 178, unless you do not want the 64. So I got five rolls here uh, 59, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So this one will go to Mustang Dave for 170. Thank you, Zurich. Because these other ones that are left are just. Either not a full roll or the same years as those. Okay. So these five at 170 each. So that'd be uh, 850 for these. These are all silver shockers. <clears throat> What else I got? <laughs> well, I think, I mean, like I said, I'm going to do the slabs in between tomorrow. I don't really know if you, or uh, next week. Uh, I might come back on. I mean, I got, I, I mean, I got all that stuff that I got that you saw today. <laughs> I mean, I got a, got a lot of that. I got, um. All that put away. How many have got 19 in here? My goodness. I'm going to keep throwing deals out to you. <laughs> what I'll do, Shocker, because those were really the ones I wanted to show to see what you wanted out of the BU quarters. Because I, I mean, they're good. I mean, they're BU. They're quarters. They're BU. They're great. But of course, uh, the random randomness of the years isn't there except for in a couple rolls. So, <clears throat> but as far as rolls for stacking, I don't really have uh, any more. I got some dimes that I can show you later, just not tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm. You know, I the the deal on everything that I got, I I just I'm sure that I'll I'll make that back and make a little bit more uh, over that. I mean, on this set alone, I mean, are you kidding me? This set alone, the hologram and opalescent set in 2001. Okay, great, Joe. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I don't yet, Shocker. I didn't. I haven't inventoried any of this uh, that I've gotten because I really have not had any time between uh, now. Yeah, you certainly can, Dave. I mean, that's that's killer. That's that's just killer, isn't it? That one. Uh, the hologram. Yeah, hologram and opalescent. Absolutely, Dave. Uh, that's the uh, Silver Eagle set from 2001, ASE of 2001. Hologram and opalescent set. They, it's uh, silver, 24 karat gold, and ruthenium. Uh, 
Uh, depends on the year, shocker, and it depends on uh, like something like that. That one I would have made a that my starting bid on that would have been five hundred dollars. That would have been my starting bid for that whole set. Yeah, I'll, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I'll look for you guys. I'll look for both of you. And I'll pick up things for both of you if if you want to send your list to Morgan's. But I think that's probably all I'll do tonight, guys. Um, I've got, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff that I have not inventoried. I just showed you that, and I... And I, um, you know, threw together an auction of the stuff that we did last year. I'll get you, Shocker. Don't worry. I'll get you too, Dave. I mean, I'll, I'll find them. I just gave them kind of random years for 20 bucks each. Yeah, I just sold a roll to uh, Silver Shocker tonight, Ringo. I had a whole roll. Of just average circulated, uh, one was kind of only one of the twenty was smooth or smoother, but I sold that roll to him for three sixty. But once I get home and look at the list from uh, Flutter, because she's such a great moderator and uh, and she gets those, I mean she'll does those lists great. I'll uh, look at that and. Uh, I'll send you to your total. <laughs> but I still got a gringo. I got a, I got a bunch of pieces too in here as well. I mean, I got. This side's Morgan, this side's Peace, so we got you. If you want to send me a list, I can do it. I do have a PCGS account. Okay. We can see what we can do. I am a PCGS member. And if those uh, couple pieces you got tonight you want to grade, then I'll let you know what the grade cost is. Um, I'll email that to you too if you want to get those graded. But they'll come back to me and then I'll have to ship them to you. So, And that's usually a two or three week turnaround. I just want to let you know. But go ahead and email me which ones you want me to send in to be graded. Uh, I don't have a problem. But yeah, everybody make sure they email me their stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send a couple items. Um, those other two walkers, uh, probably that other cap busted half. Yeah, you can send me payment, Dave, but also email me your address. I've got boxes for next week, but no, I am not able to get them from the bank. Handy Andy was nice enough to send me three boxes. Um, yeah, sure thing, Dave. But I definitely, I want you to email me your address again, even though I have it. Just because I want people to get into that habit. Because we want to keep stuff away from that. And again, if you want to send it goods and services and add 3%, if you want to be nice to me, 
If not, you can still send a good and services and they'll just take 3% from me. Or friends and family or someone you trust. I, I don't, I really don't care how you, how you pay me. Uh, because, you know, these PayPal people are kind of getting picky. And thank you, Gringo. I appreciate it, brother. Still 16 in here just from chatting. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it a night. You all have a great night. Just. Yeah, no. Nah. Just half dollars I would normally get crappie, but yeah, no no any, no other denominations. No, you don't I know who you are in, in PayPal, so you don't have to do anything except send the money. You're good to go, Shocker. But if you wanna if you wanna email me and you want me to double check total, I can send you total later. <laughs> yeah, I can't get any denominations at all. None. No, no pennies, no nickels, no dimes, no quarters, and no half dollars, even though half dollars aren't circulated. Sounds good, Shocker. I mean, I still have your email. I can email you t your, your total tonight when I get home. All right, guys, you have a great night, and I'll see you soon. I'll probably be, like I said, be streaming more often.